I'm Matthew Moniz, and this is the Alcatel Idol 4, a mid-range phone that was just released here in Canada for around $300. And this is the Alcatel Idol 4S, which is not available in Canada, but released in the US for around $400 US. These are both mid-range smartphones, but they also offer a few key differences. So I figured I did the video at the same time comparing both phones to help you guys decide which phone is the better one for you. Now before I begin, I just wanna mention that the 4S does come with a VR headset, but I'm gonna leave it out of this review because I really wanna focus on the phones themselves. I really dig the design of the Idol 4 lineup. They have glass in the front and the back of the phone with metal in the middle. It's obviously easy to say it looks very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge but with a lot less finesse and more chisel. With that being said, it's definitely one of the more attractive designs you're gonna find on a mid-range phone today. The volume rocker and power button both feel great, they're made out of metal, but both phones have this cool thing called a boom key, which allow you to use as a shortcut button to get into your favorite application, or you can pair it to, let's say, get into the camera faster or turn on your phone. Also, the 4S comes with a fingerprint scanner and the 4 does not. Now, the fingerprint scanner on the 4S works great, it's accurate. The only thing that I found a little bit annoying is that it's very flush with the glass, so sometimes your finger will kind of miss it. And the last thing I want to mention about the design is that both phones come with micro SD card expansion. So you can fit up to 256 gigabytes on both phones, but the big difference is that the Idol 4 only has 16 gigabytes of internal storage, while the Idol 4S has 32. The sound quality is really where the Idol 4 and 4S excel. They both have front facing speakers, but they sound absolutely awesome. They're hands down the best sounding front facing speakers I've used on any smartphone. Now they may not get as loud as some other smartphones out there, but because they pass through the back as well, you get this really immersive experience. The highs are really crisp, the mids are balanced, and there's even a bit of bass too. And there's also a microphone on both sides of the phone. So if you reverse the phone upside down, you can still take a phone call. The display is another area where both phones differ. On the Idol 4, it has a 5.2 inch IPS 1080p display. And it's a fine display. It's great for browsing the web, checking emails, and doing productivity tasks. It kind of reminds me of the screen on the Sony Xperia Z3 because it has cooler color tones to it. Now, if you want a screen that is vibrant, pops color, it's great for playing games and watching movies, you're gonna wanna check out the Idol 4S instead. It's using a QHD AMOLED panel and it gets really bright. In fact, it actually gets a lot brighter than my Google Pixel, but obviously the colors are not as vibrant. I mean, if you want the best screen on a mid-range smartphone, it's definitely gonna be on the Idol 4S, especially for this price point. Also, the Idol 4S comes with an ambient display, so anytime a message or a notification comes in, it will quickly light up when you pick up the phone or when it's on your desk. In terms of performance, both phones are using Snapdragon 600 series CPUs. The Idol 4 has a 617 with two gigabytes of RAM, and I found the overall performance to be a little slow. Uh, there was a lot of stutter, there was a little bit of lag, and I just didn't find it to be the most fluid experience. Now, if you're gonna be gaming with this phone, I definitely suggest looking more towards the 4S, but if you're just doing light things like browsing the web, productivity tasks, the Idol 4 is fine. Now, the Idol 4S is using a 625, so it's a little bit beefier, and it also has three gigabytes of RAM RAM, which is much better for multitasking. I found the experience on the 4S to be very, very smooth. In fact, if you didn't tell me it had a 600 series CPU in here, I would think it would run just as fast as some other flagship phones on the market today. Both phones are running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. I'm not exactly sure when or if it's gonna get the upgrade to Android 7.0. The UI itself is fairly clean. Most of stock Android is shining through, but Alcatel has themed some of the icons. Overall, it's a very clean UI. However, Alcatel has included some of its own gestures. For example, if you turn the phone over, it will mute the call, or if you put gloves on, there is a glove mode, which is fantastic for the winter time, and it also has double tap to wake up, which I found to work very good on the Idle 4S, but quite delayed on the Idle 4. The battery life on both devices are not too impressive. I was barely making it through the entire day with the Idle 4. I was getting about two and a half to three hours of screen on time with its 2610 milliamp battery. And the same held true for the Idle 4S, even though the battery size was bigger at 3000 milliamps. Now there's also no wireless charging, even though it does have a glass back, but there is quick charging so you can top up your battery quickly throughout the day. And last, let's just talk about the camera. The Idol 4 has a 13 megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture. That's why it's able to sit flush on the top of the phone. Whereas the Idol 4S 
as a 16 megapixel shooter with the same size aperture. Now here's the thing, both phones have mediocre cameras, so don't expect fantastic photos. If you do have fantastic lighting conditions, the photos will come out good most of the time. I think if you're someone who's just uploading to Instagram or taking selfies, you'll be happy with the results. But if you're really into smartphone photography, there are other devices out there that will do a much better job. So here are some photos from both phones so that you guys can see the differences and decide which camera is the better one for you. Also, I just want to mention that the Idol 4 only shoots video at 1080p, whereas the Idol 4S is capable of shooting video at 2160. All right, so here's the bottom line. The Alcatel Idol 4 offers a fantastic audio experience with its dual front facing speakers, but it has a decent screen, a competent camera, and mediocre battery life. The phone is fine for doing daily productivity tasks like checking email, or browsing the web, but suffers when it comes to gaming. Its competition would be the Moto G4. Whereas the Alcatel Idol 4S has one of the best displays you're gonna get at this price point, offers the best speakers I've heard on a smartphone, has good performance, and offers mediocre battery life and a camera that has no optical image stabilization. Also, the Idol 4S is $400 US, which puts it directly in line with the OnePlus 3 and ZTE Axon 7, which I feel offer better performance. So that wraps up my review of the Alcatel Idol 4 and 4S. Let me know what you guys think of these phones in the comments below. And if you have either one, let me know what you like or dislike about them. I want to thank everyone out there for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.